Hello. Today we are going to talk about the generic structure of a synovial joint. So synovial joints are highly movable joints and the reason that they can move is because they have a fluid filled cavity. They contain synovial fluid. So I'm going to start by just sketching two generic bones. My flared end is my epiphysis. This narrow shaft-like part is the diaphysis. And then I'm going to draw another bone. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space in between them so that we can label things. You might recall that the membrane of the bone is called the periosteum. And then directly outside of like the epiphysis of the bone, there's a little layer of hyaline cartilage articular cartilage, hyaline cartilage, and that is helping make the joint cavity as well. So it's helping to be able to um, kind of protect and allow gliding. If we didn't have hyaline cartilage there, then our bone ends could be crushed when they get crushed together. Um, and then what else? So in between the articular cartilage is going to be a fluid filled cavity that contains the synovial fluid. So I'm just going to try to draw an outline like right outside of my hyaline cartilage. And that green sac right there is my joint cavity. And then inside of the joint cavity, we find synovial fluid. So synovial fluid is kind of like an egg white. So think like water, but like a little bit more viscous than water. Um, it's slippery. It is able, like it lets the bones glide, but because it's not pure water, it also bears weight. Uh, let's go back. There we go. I'm trying to label that as synovial fluid for us. And then the, the way that we have it drawn right now, <laughs> it looks like anytime the bones would move, that synovial fluid would like squish out the side. So we need to add some more stuff to it that's actually going to hold it together. So surrounding the whole outside of the joint, we are going to add um, a fibrous layer. So like starting right here and holding everything in. And I'll go ahead and I'll do the same thing on this side. Um, and then I'll label that fibrous layer. So helping hold the joint together, contain everything. It's superficial to the synovial membrane that makes the synovial fluid. And then um, finally, going around the fibrous layer is a ligament. Ligaments are like special pieces of connective tissue that attach bones to bones. So anytime we have a bone to a bone, we're going to have a ligament. And ligaments are pretty strong. Like their function is literally to be able to hold the bone together. So takeaway of synovial joint structure is that there's a fluid filled cavity that lets it move, but then there's this all this connective tissue around it that's really um, reinforcing it and keeping it from falling apart. If you're someone who identifies as being double jointed, what you really have is super stretchy ligaments. So there's no such thing as being like double jointed with the idea that like you literally have like more bones or something like that. But you can imagine if your ligament was looser, it would allow your joints to be able to move farther in one direction. Also, when you crack uh, your knuckles, you're stretching out the joint cavity, and that stretching makes bubbles. So like bubbles actually appear in here in the synovial fluid. So we're literally hearing the sound of bubbles popping when we crack our knuckles. Thanks. Send me your questions.